Hey guys, it's Storm here. And today for you, I have a truly epic Lego Star Wars base on and on Tatooine. Now, as I said in my last Lego video, um I was going to make this, and this is basically the underground version of what the Republic was, and as you can see, that's sort of like the top that was on last time, but I did some refurbishments to it, so, yeah, um, as you know, the story is that the Republic is attacking the Separatists, and this is just right in the middle of that, they're not really in a battle right now, but they're preparing for one, so they're loading supplies, ships are coming, people are preparing, it's just... A big hustle bustle. So, um, yeah, let's just get started. Out in here, we have the front yard. It's a pretty cool front yard. And the reason there's, um, plants on it, here's a look at all the plants. I call it the flower power front yard because how many flowers there are. But the reason there are, there is a bunch of plants is because it's under the ground and they're experimenting with underground plant growth at this base. So, yeah. Mace Windu's Jedi Starfighter just landed, but Anakin is coming out of it. I mean, Luke, whatever. And he is going to climb down and give a status report to, um, to whoever's in charge, which is Captain Rex at the time. And his ship just landed, and he's going to do that. Um, this, this trooper here inside the Bark Speeder was summoned here because they've mined quite a far way off from here. This is just as far as, as the base plate went. But he was summoned there to make sure that no other, like, monsters get in. Because there was a monster that they had to fend off earlier that day. So he's just kind of sitting there. And then you have these two ARF troopers, green and red. And they, I mean, 2011 and 2012, you know what I mean. And um, they are standing guard to the door nice and well. <coughs> And up here on the actual planet, pretend there's like the planet comes off there. That's just as far as the base place, base plate can go. But up here on the top, which is how it like bulges up a little bit, you have this snow trooper speedo that was killed in action in a previous raid. He was the only one that raided, and so Darth Vader slit his neck before he got off the base. But he dare not do any more damage because they're way outnumbering him, and even though he is Darth Vader he would have killed himself. So Captain Rex is on top of this little platform here, and this little thing, which you can't see right now, now you can sort of see it on my camera, yep. Sorry that it's not focusing, it doesn't do that in video mode, but <clears throat> Luminara is actually in there. She's like about to fall over because she's been in Jedi training for forever, and she's just, um, perfecting her moves and everything. So, yeah, that sniper's standing up there to help fend off attacks. This cannon here is sent to deliver attacks, but he's just kind of sitting there because he hasn't received any orders yet from Captain Rex. And then over there, we had the little snow trooper platform, which can launch a nuke and just completely obliterate everything if it was necessary. He's just basically stationed there so that within a moment's notice he could blow everything up with the nuke. And he is watching the monitor there. He's he's actually, his face is only happy because he hasn't had to set off the nuke yet in the over 30 years that this base has been in operation. So yeah, if you take off that part... You see there's a little secret computer room with a bomb squad trooper in there who will monitor everything secret that the rest of the base doesn't need to know about. And then if we take this part off, you can see that's the energy generator. Just slide that back into place. It doesn't have to be secured. And so, yeah, that's the top of it. So now I'm going to put the camera down real quick like I'm going to take this off like so and there you have the inside of the base I made the roof easy come offable um there's in the middle there are stairs to get up to the top um over here and as you can see the entire thing surrounded by a solid wall there is a back door there and there is just a little gap in the front because there's no actually enemies there's just like monsters and stuff Han Solo sleeping on the top bunk there, and then 
that clone trooper there is sleeping on the bottom bunk. Um, there's a crate for throwing like your jetpacks and guns and stuff. So there's one jetpack in there, and that other jetpack got a little lazy, and so it was tossed all the way over there. <laughs> there's a little alarm so that if any troopers are sleeping and they're in the middle of the battle, they will be they will have a really really bad waking up. I'm just gonna say that with audible and hearable sounds, I guess. Here we have the giant computer room manned by at least one um, clone of any kind during the um, its operation process. It is so huge that it needs its own energy generator right there, and that thing generates energy for the computer room. There you have a little gun weapon area. I mean, there you just have like turrets and stuff to blow away any attacks from behind. Although there isn't really going to be any t attacks from behind unless they just completely rip up the mine. There is a um, trooper sitting on the toilet. Yay. The toilet's out in the open because it's like a prison. No, not really. Well, it sort of is. And there are two Stromic druids just kind of talking to each other, R2D2. And the one with came with um, Mace Windu's Jedi Starfighter. There's some guy that has some really awkward leg issues jumping around on his new computerized lower body. I don't know what to call it, actually. Um, there you have a giant um, weapons area, and that clone is just testing through all the different weapons. You can't really see it that well, but there's a bunch of just guns scattered all over the place. <clears throat> Here you have a little medical area. That guy's tapping away at his computer trying to find out what's wrong with this guy. Although it doesn't look like there's anything wrong with him. There's something seriously wrong with that guy. There's a little medical tool in case he needed to suck his brains out. You know, the usual deal. <clears throat> Here you have a little food center with a counter to serve over um, containers of extra food. You got a little barrier there. And then that Ewok is ordering something from that guy. That guy is looking under the counter to see if he actually has it. And then right there is um, the little eating area. You have a chair there, a chair there. Princess Leia sitting on there enjoying a drink. There's a table there. Mace Windu sitting at a personal table eating an orange. Still holding out his lightsaber. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this epic Lego Star Wars um, base mock on, an, on Tatooine. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe. Goodbye.